Oh, hey kids. I'm out in the middle of the forest this morning uh, near the Salmon River, not too far away from Mount Hood because, well, the subject of worship this morning is friendship with the earth. And boy, do I ever feel a sense of that when I walk through a wild, a wild forest. You know, we've talked a lot about love and friendship in the last few weeks and how God calls us to love everyone but we're not necessarily called to be friends with everyone. Friends are those we choose to be in relationship with. And they choose us back. It's a special kind of love, a more, you could say, intimate or closer kind of love. One where you can be assured that the person who you're friends with isn't just in relationship with you because they have to be, but because they want to be. Which raises the question, could we be friends with the forest? with the trees, or with any part of the earth. But you know, I have a, a dog at home named Ro. He's not with me here in Portland. I took this footage when I went to Omaha for Christmas. But I'm pretty sure that, that Ro and I are friends. I've chosen, I choose him all the time, and, but he also chooses me. He actually loves me more than just because I feed him. He seeks affection from me and gives it readily, and I do with him. Yes, I'm pretty sure we can be friends with animals, at least certain ones. But can we be friends with plants, with trees? Well, when I walk through a forest, I am reminded about our ancient Christian ancestors, especially those known as Celtic Christians, who said that Everything we see around us on the earth is simply God's invisible love made visible. So if you want to know what God's invisible love looks like, here it is. Here's one of many examples. If you want to know what God's love smells like, well, next time you're walking in the forest, that's one of the ways God's love smells. Or if you want to know the way, what God's love feels like. Well, here's one of many ways. If you want to know what God's love sounds like, it may sound like the wind rustling through the leaves of a tree or a roaring river by which those trees stand. If you want to know what God's love tastes like, well, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. But you, you get where I'm coming at. But this is, this is God's love when it is physical, not just invisible. And when I go th walking through a forest then, and really take that to heart, like I turn off my phone, and when I turn off all those thoughts that run through my head constantly, and just concentrate on this being God's love all around me. This is what it looks like, smells like, tastes like, feels like, sounds like. I just can't help but feel a sense of deep peace and joy. I feel like a lot of the things I care deeply about, I don't need to care so much about. Those things that make me anxious. I become aware of other things that I haven't put much care in that I need to care about more. Sometimes I even can walk through a forest and I might have entered it with a question in my head. And then when I leave, I don't know how, but somehow that question has been answered. It's almost like the forest was speaking. If I could choose, I would want to be a friend, friends with a tree and with the forest around me. But does it choose me back? It's what it would take for friendship. Well, I do know that when I make friends with human beings, I feel a greater sense of peace and joy. I, I feel love. Oftentimes those deep questions get answered that I've had that I couldn't figure out myself. And if the same thing happens when I walk through the forest, well, what I can say for sure is the more I act like a friend towards the forest, the more the forest does seem to 
act like a friend to me. How about you? There are parts of forests or other parts of God's creation that where you feel especially connected, where you feel that maybe that part of God's creation is reaching out in friendship to you. When we act as friends towards God's earth, we're also acting as friends towards God, and we know that God chooses to be friends with us. So certainly, we increase our friendship with God when we increase our friendship with what God has created. The earth all around us and also the human beings on it. Will you pray with me? Holy God, sometimes it's hard to know who you are because you're invisible and you don't speak with human words that we can understand. And yet we sense that we can get to know you better by looking at what you've created. We thank you so much for creating such a beautiful earth, such a generous creation, forests, the mountains, the rivers, and so forth. They fill us with such joy and with such peace and with, with such delight that we can't help but feel that if you created these things, that this is who you are, this is what you are like. You come to us in peace, in joy, and you take delight in all of your creation, including us. Help us to return that joy and that delight and that peace and that love in how we act towards your creations. Amen.